What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. The first half is complete, and OU is purely dominating TCU 42-16 to in a game that uh, uh, Sooners are on pace to score 84 points, and the question has to be asked, and we'll get to it in a minute, but uh, tonight at 9.30ish, sometime around 9.30, we will be on live uh, together with Sooner Surge Double Trouble. Don't miss it, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel, but uh, Jay, 42-16, to Gabriel is uh, throwing deep and often, and Jeff Levy is uh, on pace to hang about 84 points. The question is, is this going to be Jeff Levy's last game in Norman? I mean, you know, there's been a lot of talk. You know, you have a few openings. Mississippi State, obviously, uh, with him coaching at Ole Miss, you know, a few years ago, that's an option. Uh, just some stuff I've been seeing on uh, message boards, different things. Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State boards. Mississippi State is he's definitely uh, one of the top candidates. So I think. Uh, you know, it's been said that maybe Mike Elko from Duke. Uh, option, but I don't know if he's going to take that offer. If he doesn't take the offer, I would look for Levy to probably get off the job. If that happens, you got to ask yourself, will Levy leave? Is that something Levy wants to go to the state school? It's close to Mississippi where he's coached. But is that a job you leave an offensive coordinator position at Oklahoma for? That's what I don't know. Now, uh, we'll, we'll find out soon, obviously, but uh, what he's done today has been, um, it's been a great scheme today. They've, they've played really well. Gabriel's been on point. I mean, a lot of people thought, well, Dylan Gabriel played. Uh, Dylan Gabriel's looked outstanding today. Uh, it's almost like the season of what could have been uh, with this team because the two games they lost, probably the two worst defenses they played this year. Uh, what, some of the better. Yeah, it's, again, mind boggling that the Sooners can look uh, unstoppable on offense and then two games strong. Turnovers were a big part in those games. This game, uh, Jaden Gibson again showing how elite he is at receiver. Brennan Thompson runs straight by two or three guys, uh, just blows by him because that's what he does. Salchuk is looking really good. Uh, they're spreading it around. I, I just super impressed with what we're seeing on a Friday on a short week. Uh, DG wondering if he was going to play. You're probably going to see some Jackson Arnold down the second half. I expect to see Arnold. Uh, and see if uh, maybe they're going to hang 70 or 80 on this TCU team. And if this is Levy's last game, he sure is going to make Sooner fans, uh, I, I think, think about, wow, how elite uh, this scheme was maybe because uh, they're really showing off today. Yeah, but the, the thing is, we've all seen it with Levy. There's been great, and then there's been okay. Uh, the consistency has been the biggest problem. I think some things, I mean, still having problems building punts. I mean, Gavin Freeman in that first half, you can't make that mistake. I mean, yeah, I mean, at that point in the game, it was a close game. I, I don't know what it's going to take maybe to see somebody else back there, but you can't make that mistake. Uh, th that's disappointing. But I tell you a guy that's really, since these two guys have played more often, three guys, I would say the offenses look different. Jaden Gibson's been elite when he's been in there. Gavin Solchek as the number one running back so looked elite. Maybe they should have started that early in the year, and that was my biggest complaint with Levy. And then a guy like Caden Green. Caden Green on the left side has solidified that guard position that they started out with Bird and rotated through. He solidified it. So they've cleaned up some things as the years went on. They look really good offensively right now. Um, obviously, we'll see. You know, they got one more game after this. You got a second half to play. You got the bowl game. But and listen, let me say something else about earlier about the message boards. Hey, I am not a insider. OK, I'm an OU fan and I I do research and, and that sort of thing. But the chances that Levy could leave, I mean, you, you got to consider it right now that he could. This could be his last game. You got to consider well, it. You just here's another thing we didn't argue about. Mississippi State, their AD is Zach Selman. Zach Selman was at OU for years. There's a connection. OK, and even though Levy, maybe Levy is not their first choice. Maybe it is a guy like Mike Elko or the Fritz guy from Tulane, whoever it is. But. I'm just saying, if they don't take the job, I think Levy's going to yeah, get think, the job. I think Levy's in the running for sure. And depending yeah. on what Fritz does from Tulane, if he wants to make what many would consider a lateral move, whereas Levy's taking a promotion as a head coach. And, and the other thing is, there's another guy on the field today that could be going with Levy, and that's a guy in Kendall Bryles. Uh, is he going to be someone who makes this a family affair if he were to uh, go to Mississippi State and help that out? Because you know the family relation there. But, yeah. All that is up in the air. It's speculation, but it's got to be talked about. It's got to be mentioned. And if there is something there, we're going to find out very soon uh, that there's something there because Mississippi State's going to want to get a coach very soon. But on the defensive side today, Peyton Bowen made a nice pass breakup. Good to see him in there. P.J. Adebawore has been in there more. 
Trace Ford a couple times, made some plays finally. Kanick's been better today. Uh, so Kip, Kip started out really good. Then he had to been in the wrong spot at the touchdown. They pulled him out and played more Kanick now. Uh, good to see Josiah Wagner make a play. Gentry Williams back. That's good to see. Um, overall, great first half, uh, dominant first half, really. Uh, I don't even know the stats on what Gabriel ended up with, but at one time he had six completions for 200 yards. I love to see the I love to see the vertical passing game, um, and, and we got to get Stoops in the end zone this half. Stoops has to score. Got to score. Half. Senior night. Senior Custom. night. Got to yeah. score. Yeah. Drop us uh, your comments in the chat on your first half uh, thoughts and comments. Drop it in the chat. Appreciate you guys watching. A reminder tonight, tonight. 9.30-ish, Senior Surge Double Trouble. We'll break down all the levy stuff, the game. When was the last time we watched the game together in person? Not it's been a while. Game. It's been a while. It's been a so long time. This is good. We'll give good our game. thoughts. You guys give your thoughts. Till next time. Boomer. Sooner.